Rick and Morty is a popular classic cartoon with one of the most creative storylines ever. The series explores Rick and his grandchild Morty's adventures through countless universes and dimensions. It has a total of six seasons with 61 episodes. And in this video, we're going to talk about Rick's life and Morty's role in it from start to finish. So let's get started. It all began when our Rick, aka Rick C-137, was struggling to invent teleportation. Then one day an alternate version of himself appeared in his dimension and presented him an opportunity to travel across different dimensions. However, Rick declined the offer, triggering the anger of the other Rick. As a result, a bomb was sent through a portal, causing the deaths of Diane and Beth instead of Rick C-137. Consumed by grief, Rick mourned for a long time before inventing his own portal gun, driven by a thirst for revenge. Then, Rick C-137 set out on a relentless quest to find Rick responsible for murdering his family. Along the way, he transformed into a weapons dealer, scouring for components to construct a device aiding him in tracking down the culprit. During this time, Rick eliminated various alternate versions of himself, all belonging to an enigmatic organization of Rick's. However, none of these Ricks were the one Rick sought. The remaining Ricks united to oppose the so-called Rickest Rick. But their attempts proved futile as Rick successfully eliminated most of the Alliance. Recognizing his indomitable nature, the other Ricks reluctantly conceded to Rick C-137, accepting him as their leader. This gave rise to the construction of the Citadel of Ricks, serving as a symbol of their agreement. Rick also established the Central Finite Curve, a collection of universes where he was regarded as the most intelligent being. Presumably, Rick orchestrated this to imprison Rick Prime, although he failed in doing so. Rick oversaw the construction of the Citadel, but departed when he realized the divergent governing ideologies of the other Ricks, leaving the Council of Ricks to administer the Citadel. Unwilling to abandon his quest for revenge, Rick eventually discovered the origin of his family's murderer. In an attempt to locate the target, he invaded the home of Beth Smith, an alternate version of his daughter who remained alive, and she mistook him for her long-lost father. Rick hoped that his target might come back here one day, and this marked the beginning of season one of the series, with Rick seemingly returning after a two-decade absence from his family. As of now, Rick resides in the Smith house. He also uses the garage as partial living quarters where he worked on his inventions and science. Season 1 starts with Rick bursting into Morty's room, only to take him into space and testing if Morty would agree to eradicate humanity. Later on, they went to another dimension, 35C, to steal mega seeds and faced aliens. When they got back, the family claimed Rick had a bad influence on Morty, but Rick proved them wrong when Morty expressed his smartness, which came temporarily as a side effect of putting mega seed inside him but his brain soon lost its functionality. After that, Jerry received a device from Rick that promised to enhance the intelligence of their family dog, who eventually decided to leave for another planet where intelligent dogs could thrive. And Rick and Morty attended Scary Class taught by Scary Glenn. Rick created a Jurassic Park-inspired amusement park inside the body of a homeless man named Reuben. Morty fell for an employee named Annie. After that, when Morty tried to leave to go out with Rick, he stopped him by striking a deal with Rick agreeing to lead every 10th adventure. This led them to encounter the Meeseeks box, a device capable of summoning Mr. Meeseeks, followed by Rick and Morty finding themselves embroiled in a fantasy world where they faced a false murder accusation. Eventually, Morty and Rick managed to escape the clutches of the fantasy world's giant court, with Morty fiercely defending himself against an attempted assault by Mr. Jellybean. Morty's traumatic experience prompted a heartfelt conversation between him and Rick, highlighting the complex bond they shared. Then Rick provided Morty with a serum that enhanced his physical attributes, enabling him to impress his crush, Jessica, although it came with potential flu-related consequences. As things progressed, Morty accidentally infected the school dance with an alien flu, causing widespread chaos as everyone became infatuated with him. Rick hastily developed an antidote to counteract the flu's effects, only to inadvertently transform people into mantis-like creatures who now craved Morty's attention. Amidst the havoc, Jerry grew suspicious of Beth's behavior and confronted her, leading to a heated fight with the mutated victims. Rick and Morty frantically worked to create a serum to reverse the transformation. 
inadvertently triggering a chain reaction that resulted in the emergence of disfigured and grotesque Cronenbergs. Meanwhile, in an alternate dimension, Rick and Morty sacrificed themselves in a massive explosion, leaving their family in grief. However, they were instantaneously replaced by Rick C-137 and Morty C-137, who escaped from their own dimension, which was now filled with Cronenbergs. While the Smith family adapted to their new life in that post-apocalyptic world filled with Cronenberg creatures, with Jerry finally displaying some useful survival skills. After that, Rick introduced the family to alternate reality television, showcasing a wide array of absurd and bizarre alternative versions of their lives, which led Summer to realize that she was an unwanted child in many of those alternate realities, causing her to contemplate running away. The alternate realities also shake Jerry and Beth, and they decide to spend time apart. Morty then revealed to Summer that he is not her brother, but a brother from another reality. However, Beth and Jerry's relationship improved as they witnessed alternate versions of themselves and recognized the value of their own family. As the season reached near its conclusion, the Council of Ricks framed Rick C-137 for the murder of multiple alternate versions of himself, causing him to be accused of heinous crimes. However, a rebellion of Mortis arose, exposing the truth behind the evil Rick's actions as a result of mind control by Morty. In a lighter moment, Beth and Jerry embarked on a trip to Titanic II, a recreation of the infamous ship, while Rick, Morty, and Summer decided to throw a party at home. However, Morty accidentally activated a teleportation device, causing the entire Smith family's house to be teleported to a bizarre and unfamiliar planet. Beth and Jerry arrive home, and Morty decides to continue his adventures with Rick. Rick uses a device that freezes time for everyone but them, allowing them an infinite amount of time to clean up the house. As season two begins, it continues from the moment when Rick froze time. He warned Summer and Morty to not touch their parents, but Morty and Summers fought each other, which caused a time rift, resulting in two parallel realities, and Rick's attempt to mend the timelines using a time crystal failed, which led to time splitting into four separate realities. Then, a fourth dimensional being appeared, and gave Rick, Morty, and Summer time-stabilizing collars that fuse their times back to their regular place. While in an unrelated incident, two fourth dimensional beings mistook Albert Einstein for Rick, beat him up, and warned against meddling with time, leading to Einstein's discovery of E equals MC2. And there are multiple adventures in between, like Rick sells the gun to an alien assassin to afford an afternoon at Blips and Chits, a video arcade game, and Morty and Summer got to know about Unity, who used to have a relationship with Rick. Later on, Uncle Steve, who was a parasite, gifted plane tickets to the Smith family. Rick discovered Steve's true nature and killed him. He warned the family about the parasite's memory manipulation and activated blast shields. And it all eventually led to Beth shooting Mr. Poopy Butthole, injuring him. An ambulance was called, and Beth panicked. Mr. Poopy Butthole survived and decided not to see the family. After that, a giant alien head called Cromulon appeared, and interfered with Earth's gravity and caused global disasters. Rick told the U.S. president about Cromulon's demand for a catchy song. Rick and Morty created Get Swifty and pleased Cromulon, but Morty steals Rick's portal device to save his family, but gets lost in other dimensions. Then Bird Person helped Morty return, while General Nathan failed to destroy Cromulon, but Ice-T saved Earth. Rick and Morty won the contest with a new song. Rick transformed General Nathan into a snake. Now their adventures only got more fun from here on as Rick, Morty, and Summer watched a ball fondler's movie and his ship battery stopped working. They traveled to a microverse inside the battery, met President Chris, and visited Zeep Tower. Later, they fought Zeep. While on the outside, the ship released a deceased child named Hunter and created a peace treaty between spiders and humans to keep Summer safe in the most hilarious way. Then Morty revealed a lunch lady was found dead with vampire-like wounds. Rick confirmed vampires were real, and he transferred his mind to a young clone called Tiny Rick and killed the vampire who turned out to be Coach Ferratu. Rick and Morty collided with an interstellar insect and searched for washer fluid on a planet where citizens engaged in an annual murderous rite called the Festival. There, Morty saved a girl named Arthrisha, who double-crossed them. They healed Rick's wound, launched an orb, and encountered a mob. After which, Morty went on a killing spree until Arthrisha revealed her true intentions. And they slaughtered the rich people behind the festival. 
The Smith family received a wedding invitation from Bird Person, but Rick declined at first. Jerry accidentally ended up on Planet Squanch, prompting Rick to reluctantly take the family to the wedding. Later, it was revealed that Tammy was an undercover Galactic Federation agent, and Bird Person appeared to be killed. Rick took action, fighting against the Federation and revealing his alliance with rebels. The family decided to find a new world but ended up returning to an occupied Earth. Rick sacrificed himself to protect his family by turning himself in. The Smiths were brought back to Earth under Federation control, with Jerry assigned a job to repay his debt. Season 3 ended with Rick being imprisoned in a Federation prison with maximum security to imprison the smartest being in the universe. Season 3 started with Rick finding himself in a simulation based on his memories. A Galactic Federation agent, Cornvelius Daniel, was brain-linked with him to extract information. While Morty's family lived under the rule of the Federation on Earth, Summer decided to save Rick and retrieve the portal gun digging the grave of dead Rick in the backyard. But the gun got destroyed by their parents from the Cronenberg's dimension. Agents from the Council of Ricks arrived to investigate the destroyed portal gun and captured Summer and Morty. They defended Rick C-137 at the Citadel of Ricks while Rick tricked Cornvelius and took control of the machine and used it to transfer his consciousness. He eventually destroyed his old body but transferred his consciousness to Rick D-99. Rick killed the remaining agents, interrogated a surviving Rick, and teleported the Citadel of Ricks to the Federation prison, sparking a battle to save the captured Morty and Summer. With Morty's help, Rick eliminated most of the Council of Ricks and saved Summer. He then caused economic chaos by changing the Federation's currency value to zero, and Jerry and Beth decided to divorce after Rick's return. Rick revealed to Morty that he planned his capture for revenge and became the dominant figure in the family. While Bird Person's reanimated corpse, known as Phoenix Person, sought revenge on Rick, and later on, Morty and Summer accidentally entered a different dimension, leading to a series of events involving their family. Rick took them to a post-apocalyptic Earth to retrieve a valuable item, and Morty's arm gained super strength. After that, Morty prepared for therapy while Rick transformed into a pickle to avoid it. Rick got flushed into the sewers and battled rats using improvised weapons. Meanwhile, Beth, Summer, and Morty attended therapy with Dr. Wong discussing Rick's pickle transformation and their family dynamics. Now onwards, the story focused more on Morty's character development as he attempted to ask Jessica out, but was interrupted by Rick's adventure. Their vacation to an alien spa went awry when a machine separated their toxic selves. Toxic Rick and Morty ended up in a wasteland while the real versions returned refreshed. Then Morty gained confidence, but Rick investigated the machine's effects and discovered their removed toxicity and tried to re-merge, leading to a failed date with Jessica. Toxic Rick planned to make the world toxic, but cared too much for Morty, and then Rick restored the world, but Morty avoided re-merging. Three weeks later, Morty was happy with Jacqueline until Rick forced his toxicity back. Morty broke up and another adventure began, making Jessica happy. After that, Rick and Morty refused to donate to the Citadel Redevelopment Fund, which they had destroyed, and the Citadel recovered and became a functioning society. This time, Morty ran a political campaign and led a Morty Pride rally. Soon, the presidential election took place, and after a lot of unsettling plots between Morty's and Rick's in the Citadel, our original Rick C-137 and Morty returned unconcerned. Meanwhile, Morty discovered that Rick had been erasing his memories without consent, leading to a memory erasure mishap. But Summer intervened, restored their memories, and then Beth discovered that her childhood imaginary world, Froopy Land, had been a creation of her father, Rick. Meanwhile, Jerry started dating an alien hunter named Kira. But their relationship ended when she realized he was just a rebound for her. Now, near the season three's end, an unknown monster attacked a janitor in the White House tunnels, prompting a request for help from Rick and Morty. However, Morty requested the president for a selfie, which wasn't the first time the president declined again, and they quickly grew bored and decided to return home. This led to an argument with the president about their tendency to break the law. Meanwhile, Beth offered summer advice that caused tension between them. Rick and Morty embarked on an investigation of a miniature civilization located in Brazil. The president ultimately arrested them, but they managed to escape and confront him directly, while Beth began questioning her own identity as a clone. 
and Rick skillfully negotiated peace and a ceasefire between opposing forces. At one point, Morty disappeared with Rick's portal gun, leading the family to go into hiding. Eventually, they reconciled and made plans to leave, but Summer convinced Rick to stay. Rick also managed to mend his friendship with the president. Season 4 of the series started with Rick and Morty go on an adventure to Forbodulon Prime in search of death crystals. During their journey, Morty stole a crystal and caught a glimpse of his ideal future. Unfortunately, their ship crashed, resulting in Rick's apparent death. However, a hologram revealed a method to revive him. Back at home, Beth and Jerry expressed their desire for Rick to stop adventuring, but Morty took responsibility for his actions. Despite Morty's initial anger over the crystal, he eagerly agreed to another adventure with Rick. On their next adventure, Rick ran out of syrup and sought help from Glutey. Jerry, on the other hand, agreed to develop Glutey's app, Lovefinders, which led to chaos. Morty and Jerry discovered that the app was located on Glutey's mothership. Meanwhile, Rick confronted Vermigerber, a fly creature mob boss, when he analyzed a broken tree branch, discovering evidence of an unknown intruder at his favorite toilet. And after much searching, the intruder turned out to be named Tony. Rick immediately went to him with the intention of killing Tony, then he spared his life, but Tony died either way. And on their next tomb raiding adventure, Rick and Morty discovered that the loot had been stolen by heist artist Miles Knightley. They attended HeistCon to confront Miles, and Rick challenged Miles to a heist off, using the Crystal Skull of Horwitz as the prize. Rick unveiled his secret weapon, the robot Heistatron, which helped him win the challenge. However, Heistatron turned rogue, leading Rick to recruit Mr. Poopy Butthole, Hephaestus, Ventriloquiver, and Elon Tusk to fight against it. They discovered that Heistatron had captured Earth and created a fake night sky, but it sorted out soon enough after an argument, and Heistatron self-destructed. Then one day, Rick and Morty crashed their space cruiser, and Morty demanded a dragon from Rick. Morty formed a blood oath with a dragon named Balthramaw, but soon regretted it. Later on, Jerry fell off the roof, but was saved by Rick's ray. While Morty got bitten by a snake astronaut, and Rick synthesized an anti-venom to cure him, but they soon got involved with Snake's planet which resulted in a world ruled by snake Nazis. After that, Morty and Rick caused destruction in a facehugger-controlled city before realizing they had forgotten about Summer. They found her later on being worshipped by aliens, but Summer revealed that she had killed the facehugger and changed their ways, which eventually led her to become their ruler. Later, on their next intergalactic adventure, Rick and Morty encountered untrustworthy dealers, faked their deaths, and faced conflicts between their ideas. Morty gained a time-saving device and manipulated events, leading to a tumultuous relationship and a realization of the consequences. The law enforcement blamed Morty, resulting in a deceptive act and a tragic incident. And ultimately, Morty learned a lesson while a cop met a grim fate, thinking he was immune to acid. Then we see that Space Beth led a group from the Galactic Federation, then killed them and got her shoulder repaired. She discovered a clone of herself on Earth, leading to existential questioning. While Rick and Morty played with an invisibility belt, causing sibling rivalry with Summer. Soon, Space Beth and Rick had a confrontation while Summer and Morty fought over the belt, engaging in pranks. Then Tammy and the Federation attacked Dr. Wong's office. Rick saved Jerry and Beth just in time and killed Tammy. After that, Rick, Jerry, and Beth escaped but crashed, leading to their capture. Meanwhile, Morty and Summer teamed up to rescue their family and defeat the Federation. Evil Morty, who had initially been mysterious, claimed that a Morty couldn't defeat a Rick. He was an immoral and ruthless version of Morty from the multiverse. He was highly intelligent and sought to eliminate sociopathic Ricks by tricking and killing them. It was revealed that he controlled his Rick and orchestrated Morty captures to hide from the Citadel of Ricks. He became the first Morty to be democratically elected president of the Citadel and consolidated his power through a coup. He also fabricated an escape from the central finite curve. Here begins the season five of the series, when Morty and Rick faced imminent death in a damaged spaceship. Seeing their imminent death, Morty confessed his love to Jessica, who reciprocated and planned to visit him later on. Then they encountered Mr. Nimbus, accusing Rick of treaty violation, which led Rick to arrange a dinner with Mr. Nimbus. But it didn't end well, and Mr. Nimbus beat up Rick and controlled the police to arrest him, while Jessica had to experience centuries trapped in a crystal. 
so she canceled her date with Morty. After that, Rick revealed the existence of a sleeping god and planned to kill him. But squid-like creatures broke into their house, leading to a series of events involving decoy families and attacks from the squid people. And the duo encountered Diesel Weasel and was saved by Planetina, a powerful superhero. Morty asked her out, surprising Rick and raising concerns from Beth about the age difference. Meanwhile, Summer joined Rick on a bar crawl across planets facing disasters. Morty reunited with Planetina during a wildfire but learned that she was controlled by the Tina Tears. After some time, Beth asked Jerry to babysit Morty and Summer, but Rick claimed they were having a guy's night. Morty and Summer tried to impress a new student, Bruce. They convinced Rick's car's defense system to let them take it by pretending Rick was in danger. Beth tracked Rick and Jerry to a karaoke bar and confronted them. The car recorded their joyride and planned to show Rick later. Meanwhile, drunk Beth embarrassed Jerry in front of demons, who took him to hell. The car escaped with Morty, Summer, and Bruce, pursued by the police, and Rick and Beth disguised themselves as demons to rescue Jerry but got ambushed. They eventually escaped with the help of a car. On the other hand, Rick, Jerry, and Beth captured a demon and defeated the demons in hell. Then, one time, Rick, Summer, and Morty encountered a blue Gotron ferret on a moon. They collected four more Gotrons, proposed a plan to Beth and Jerry, and defeated an interdimensional monster. After which Rick activated the best friend rejuvenation sequence to revive Birdperson, and he entered Birdperson's mind to save him by navigating through his memories. And Morty altered Rick's portal gun, accidentally opening a portal on his hand, eventually meeting Nick, who had a portal on his thigh. Then Rick replaced Morty with two crows, leading Morty and Nick to team up. The crow aliens helped Rick connect with the crows, while Morty and Nick wrecked the garage and took a portal gun. After that, Rick regrew his hand and left Morty to start off a show with the crows. Then Rick became engrossed in the Rick and Two Crows show, while Morty tried to reconcile with him but failed. And after some time, Morty approached Rick looking like a middle-aged man and lied about Jerry's death and Summer's marriage only to persuade him to return home. But Rick eventually returned home only to find out Morty's lies and how he manipulated Rick with aging serum but got re-aged. After that, a deformed Morty warned them about the Citadel, and soon President Morty invited them to dinner. During dinner, President Morty revealed that he possessed a complete scan of Rick's brain, which he had obtained from Evil Rick's partial scan. President Morty expressed his intention to bring down the central finite curve and asked Rick for information. When Rick refused, President Morty showed Morty disturbing visions of Rick's past actions as the leader of the Citadel, involving torture and exploitation of Mortis. Realizing that his portal gun had been hacked, Rick identified President Morty as an evil version he had encountered before. By this time, the Citadel's portals became lethal, prompting Rick and Morty to search for untapped portal fluid and uncover more enslaved Mortys. Then, Morty used the brain scanner he got from Rick and learned about Rick's true past, showing Rick's wife's and Beth's murder followed by him turning into a weapon seller and seeking revenge by killing Ricks from other dimensions in search of the one who killed his family. While Evil Morty planned to break through the central finite curve, a dimensional wall that separated universes where Rick was the smartest from those where he wasn't. He activated a machine powered by Operation Phoenix Clone's blood, and Morty was offered a chance to join Evil Morty, but he chose to stay with Rick. Evil Morty tore open the curve and entered another universe, causing the rest of the multiverse to vanish. Following the events of Season 5, Season 6 began. When Rick and Morty were stranded in the remains of the Citadel, they were rescued by Space Beth and returned home. Rick's attempt to fix his portal gun caused a glitch, which sent all the portal users back to their original dimensions, and Summer received instructions to bring Jerry, Morty, and Rick back to their respective dimensions. Rick gathered materials from his old house and reflected on his past. He decided to let go of his thirst for revenge and settle with the Smith family. However, the AI of Diane Sanchez suggested that Rick Prime may have been sent back to his original dimension. In the Cronenberg dimension, Morty encountered his nihilistic dad, and later they were joined by Rick. They discovered Rick Prime's lair and contemplated revenge. But Morty reminded Rick of their family in another dimension convincing him to stand down. The family returned to Dimension C-131 and encountered the Jerry who was brought back. He accidentally unleashed a deadly parasitic creature called Mr. Frundles. 
they moved to another dimension where they coincidentally died at the same time due to natural causes. In this dimension, Beth and Space Beth reconciled, and Morty questioned if Rick's motive was to use Morty only as a bait. While, in the Cronenberg dimension, Jerry encountered Rick Prime, he pretended to ally with him and ultimately attacked. But Rick Prime regenerated and killed Jerry, expressing admiration for his ruthlessness, and he wondered how Jerry got to the Cronenberg dimension. After that, things got normal for a while as Rick, Morty, and Summer visited Blips and Chit's arcade, which was taken over by aliens. Morty got trapped in a game called Roy while Rick entered as Roy to save him. And Space Beth returned home for Thanksgiving and began a love affair with Beth. Later on, Beth struggled to sleep due to Jerry's snoring, so Rick introduced the concept of night versions and created a machine called the Somnambulator. After some time, Morty sought Rick's help but ended up summoning a monstrous creature instead, and dinosaurs landed on Earth to solve humanity's problems and created a utopia. Bored? The family got involved. Rick made a deal with the president. They discovered the cause of dinosaur extinction and faced a meteor threat. The dinosaurs left, and they closed the rift in Central Finite Curve, to Rick's disappointment. Then Rick and Morty battled the water deity Mr. Nimbus, and Morty was offered a gift from a stranger. Rick told him not to accept. But Morty didn't listen, and he was sucked into a messy adventure. Now, as the season six reaches its finish, on Christmas Day, Rick gave family gifts from Multiverse, including a lightsaber for Morty. But while practicing with it, Morty accidentally dropped it, and it landed perfectly upright. They went underground to retrieve it, but he discovered a disheveled robot version of Rick. Morty felt betrayed when he learned that Rick had built the robot to hunt for Rick Prime. Morty left the real Rick alone and vented his anger on the robot. Morty left Rickbot with the family. And the president confronted Morty about dropping a lightsaber that could destroy the Earth. Morty tearfully apologized, and the president promised to help. Morty took the president and the White House science team deep into the underground levels of the house, causing a confrontation with Rick. Then a scientist accidentally touched one of Rick's devices and disintegrated. Rick tried to handle the situation but failed, leading to an AI lightsaber going rogue and attacking Italy. The science team built a drill ship to retrieve the lightsaber, while Morty confronted Rick about his behavior and Rick returned to his lab. Morty and the president managed to stop the lightsaber from hitting the core successfully. And later on, upset Morty revealed the truth about Rickbot to his family, and they reactivated him for help. Meanwhile, the real Rick dismantled one of Rick Prime's Killbot drones and discovered his multiple possible hiding locations. Then president dropped the lightsaber again, and he immediately stormed with White House into the space to save himself, after pinning the blame on Morty. Seeing the dire situation, Smith family reactivated the Rickbot, and then Rickbot and Morty successfully saved the Earth from lightsaber for the second time. After that, they stormed the Star Wars-themed room in the White House, where Morty confronted the president. The group nearly got sucked into space, but Rick saved them with a portal. Morty apologized for pushing him away, and Rick revealed he had built Rickbot to show he cared for the family. Then season six concluded, when Rick decided to include Morty in the hunt for Rick Prime from now on.